Thanks for joining us. I'm Brianna Pitts with the WBZ News Update. Our top stories, we have learned that the body of the man trapped in the raging Parker River in Newberry was recovered. A neighbor noticed that man clinging to a tree limb and notified another neighbor who ran in to the river to help but could not reach that stranded man. The neighbor was able to get out before he himself got hurt. Officials do not know how or why the victim ended up in the water. Uh, they say that water is so rough right now because of all of the recent rain we have had. Well, Milford police are searching for a group of suspects accused in an armed robbery. This is a video from inside Aroma, Brazil. It shows two suspects enter the store on Tuesday night wearing masks and hoods, pointing guns at the workers. Police say they got away with a large sum of cash and they took off in a Dodge Durango that was waiting outside. Anyone with information about the thieves or their getaway driver is asked to call Milford police. Jewish students at Harvard are suing the university for what they say is rampant anti-Jewish hatred on campus. The students say that Harvard is violating their civil rights by allowing threats of violence against the Jewish community to go unpunished. Harvard says they do not comment on pending litigation. And now let's get a check of our next weather forecast with Jason Michael, who is tracking another storm. A cotton candy type of day out there right now. Beautiful pinks and oranges and yellows in the sky, friends. And look at our temperatures, 41 degrees. We should have an average high temperature today of 36 degrees. So look at how warm we're going to be. Temperatures remain a bit more on the cooler and also the milder side as we make ways for our next weather system to move back in. One to two inch rain is what we're going to be expecting as far as this storm system, with the timeline being roughly around midnight tonight, going through roughly about 7, 8, maybe even 9 a.m., depending on where you are. Our flooding threat remains elevated, friends, because any sort of water that we receive on the already soggy soil is likely to run off. We've already seen some of the rivers and streams rise as well. Float warnings are already in effect near the Acton area and even the North Bridge and Norwood area, so that likely remain in effect at least over the next couple days or so as rivers still likely will hang out in the minor, perhaps even the moderate flood stage. Rainfall intensity. Let's get right into the mix here. Overnight tonight, ramping up roughly around 3, perhaps even 4, 5 a.m., and then roughly falling off thereafter. We will have high wind gusts approaching and perhaps even exceeding 40 miles per hour throughout the afternoon hours, and even some areas along the coastline. You can see South Shore, the Cape, and the Islands will likely have gusts approaching 50 to 60 miles per hour. Here's the timeline again. Roughly around 4, 5 a.m., the heaviest bands of rain moving on through. Boston still locked in with it around 9, even maybe even 10 a.m., but later in the afternoon, and leave at least in the early morning, excuse me, late morning, early afternoon, some sunshine will be able to peek on through with some clouds still blowing about in windy conditions. We'll have stable conditions arriving for us on Sunday. They'll carry over into Monday as well. Much cooler conditions move back in. Our next system arrives by midweek next week, Bri Brianna. All right, Jason, this has been a WBZ News update. Have a great day.